In this video, I will walk you through a demo of the integration between Adobe Sign and Microsoft Word. Adobe Sign is the preferred e-signature solution for Microsoft customers. There are two key feature sets I want to highlight. One, send a document for signature, and two, track status of the agreement. We'll be working with two personas, Conrad Sims, the marketing research vendor who needs to get a marketing research report signed by his customer, Gloria Rios, who is the VP of Marketing. We'll start from the perspective of the marketing research vendor, Conrad Sims. Conrad opens the market research report in Word. He clicks Send for Signature to initiate the sending experience. This brings up the Adobe Sign panel at the right side of his document. He clicks Get Started. This opens the Adobe Sign Send for Signature panel. Notice that the document name and standard message have already been entered by default. Conrad can edit the message and enter a customized message if he wishes. The message will appear in the email that is sent to the signer. Conrad enters Gloria's email address in the Recipients section. If he checks Preview and Send, Conrad can preview the document and add additional signature and business fields he wants his signer to complete. When his recipient information is complete, Conrad clicks Send to send the document for signature. Conrad receives notice in Word that his report has been sent for signature. Conrad can track the status of his document right in Word at any time. He clicks View Agreement to check the status. He checks the status and sees the offer letter is Out for eSignature. In the right column, he can see a history of the transaction and notes that the report is currently waiting to be signed by Gloria Rios. Now let's take a look at what the customer, Gloria Rios, sees on her end. She receives notice of a new email from Conrad Sims. She opens the email and clicks the link to review and sign the document. She'll be guided through the process step by step. Gloria doesn't need Adobe Sign installed on her computer or mobile device in order to open, review, and sign the document. She also doesn't need to sign up for anything in order to sign. She can review the document and sign in any browser on any device. Because Gloria has a unique email address, her email is considered the first level of authentication. Additional two-factor authentication methods can be added if needed. Gloria takes a little time to review the report. She can click Start to be guided through the document, or she can click Next Required Field in the upper right-hand corner. Adobe Sign natively includes guided navigation for signers, moving between and pointing out fields that need to be completed. In this case, she only needs to complete one required field, her signature. She clicks to sign. So let's take a look at Gloria's options for adding a signature. She has four choices. In the first option, she can type her name using the default Adobe Sign font-based signature. After she's created her signature, Adobe Sign saves it and applies it to any future signature fields she clicks. As a second option, she can use a biometric signature by clicking Draw at the top of the dialog box and drawing her signature with a mouse. Instead of typing or drawing a signature, Gloria can also upload a scanned image of her signature or business stamp and use it to sign. She can upload a business stamp or even a hanko stamp if she were operating in Japan. She can save the image for future use. The image becomes a permanent part of the final document. Lastly, Gloria can create her signature on her mobile device for a more authentic looking signature. When she clicks Mobile, She's prompted to type her phone number and receives an SMS with a link to create a handwritten signature on her mobile phone. Gloria decides to sign her name by typing her signature. She clicks Type to initiate the process and enters her name as requested. When she's happy with the font and appearance, she clicks Apply to append her signature to the report. She's prompted to click the Click to Sign button to complete the signing process. She receives a message confirming that she's successfully signed the report. 
There are a number of ways Gloria can review or retrieve a copy of the signed report for her records. She can immediately download a copy by clicking the Download a Copy button and save it to her computer for future reference. Since a copy of the signed offer letter has been sent to all parties, she will receive a copy of the email in her inbox. Attached to that email is a signed copy of the report. Conrad decides to take another look at the status of his report. He'll be able to see if the report has been signed, if it's still waiting for a signature, or even if it's been declined. He opens the report in Word and clicks View Agreement to bring up the status and history of the document. He sees that the status has changed to Signed. He clicks Audit Report to open the audit trail in Word. No extra software is needed. Conrad clicks Signature Panel to open information related to the certification. The audit trail shows a detailed history of events for the transaction. Final documents are certified with a tamper evidence seal and delivered automatically to all parties. The blue ribbon at the top of the report certifies that the document has not been tampered with. This final document, with its tamper evidence seal, combined with the audit trail that logs every step of the document history, provides legal proof of signing.